Hi everyone, this is Carolina. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make faux fabric flowers. You can put them on cards, you can put them on 3D items, hairbands, many uses for them. So basically, here's what it looks like. It's um, two circles put together with a brad through the middle, and it comes together quite quickly. So why don't we go ahead and get started. You'll need a paper towel to put down on your work surface. You will be using water, so this is just a good way to protect that. And then two circles. I used a one and three fourths and a one and three eighths, but you can use two circles of your liking. And then a spray bottle. And what we're going to do is just spray the one side and then do two spritz on the other side as well. Crumple it up. And then you're going to set them aside. And then do the same thing to your other circle. Okay, and then crumple it out again. You can always add more water if you'd like, if they're not kind of bending as easily as you'd like them to. But at this point, just go ahead and leave them there and then just don't touch them. Just kind of leave them alone. And then come back about 20, 30 minutes. And they should be wet enough that you can still kind of manipulate them, but not too wet that they'd easily be um, torn. So when you unwrap them, make just be very careful, be patient with them, and um, go ahead and set it down on your surface. And then you're going to start pinching the ends and just kind of turning it as you do that. And basically what you're creating is kind of like um, creases in a petal, I guess is the best way to explain it. Pinch it in and pinch um, the edges and then... At this point, um, you can do as much or as little as you'd like, and then I just set it aside and then work on my other one. And as I mentioned before, you can do as many of these as you want at once because there is some drying time in between them. So you kind of just want to make the best of your time. And like I said, you're going to go around and do the same thing to this one. You kind of get the picture. So anyway, so now... Once they're dry, they're going to be a lot stiffer, which is great. That's what you want. I pretty much let mine dry overnight because I do do a bunch at a time. And then once they're dry, you're going to need your paper piercer and a, piercer, a piercing mat. And I'm actually using a rhinestone brad for mine, but you can use any type of brad you'd like. Make sure your piercer, when you're using it at this point, is all the way out because you do want to have it go all the way through all those layers and because the paper is so stiff um, you kind of want to just go in there really good and push it all the way up so you get a nice size hole as I'm doing here okay and then you're going to just go ahead and put your rhinestone brad through that open the little legs in the back if they're not open easily you can use um, your piercer as I'm doing here and that's it now you can go ahead and play around with it manipulate it a little bit more even though it's dry it still does hold its shape if you're going to if you go ahead and um, fold it in and do other things to it if you'd like to tear the edges up a little bit make it more a little shabby chic you're more than welcome to do that that's great too but let me go ahead and show you what i do um and how i use them in projects so i made this little box for my knees they're that um, just wanted to finish it off with some flowers. I'm using a hot glue gun to do that because she's almost three. So as you can probably imagine, she'll open it and close it. And then just set one flower there. And then one more. And then with that, the box is pretty much complete. It just, like I said, adds that little something extra. And what's great with the fact that you're using paper and using scraps, you can pretty much color coordinate them to whatever project you're working on. And that way you're not having to go out and buy some. You can just use what you have at home. So it opens up. It's a pretty cute box. And let me show you what I'm going to be putting inside. I'm only going to show you one item of each of the things I'm making her, but I'm actually making her a bunch of headbands and a bunch of barrettes. And all I did was take a ribbon slider, put it through a piece of ribbon, use one of my flowers, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue gun to the back of the flower. It's easier than trying to put it on the ribbon and the ribbon slider. This way I can just go ahead and turn it over and place it in the middle and then just press down. And you can manipulate the flower if you'd like a little more. But it's great because you can make a bunch of these, whatever color you'd like, whatever um, ribbon you'd like. And it matches pretty much anything that your kids might have in their wardrobe. Um, and you don't have to go out and buy a different accessory every time. The other item I'm putting them on are barrettes. I'm making her a bunch of different colors. For this one, I went ahead and added two of the flowers to it already. And I will be 
putting the third one by adding a little bit of hot glue gun to the back and then just pressing down firmly. Make sure you you do have them on there pretty good because they are you know coming on and off the hair especially on a two-year-old so anyways the other item is a card what's great with cards you can add in the middle of a knot to the sentiment and they really finish it off quite nicely for this one i just use smaller circles to create them so i hope you have fun making them and let me know if you have any questions